With the impeachment trial underway in the Senate, Democratic-led committees in the House are focused on crafting their parts of President Biden's 1.9. trillion dollar COVID relief package. The proposed bill includes several measures, such as gradually increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2025, as well as raising the child tax credit. House Democrats are also echoing President Biden's call to send $1,400 stimulus checks to individual Americans. CBS News reporter Sarah Ewall Weiss has been covering this story, and she joins me now from New York City. Hi there, Sarah. So the current minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. What's the plan for getting it up to $15 by 2025, and how is this expected to help the overall economy? So this is one of the more controversial provisions of President Biden's COVID relief package, and it is currently included in the House Democrats' version of the legislation that was unveiled yesterday. Basically, it would slowly increase the minimum wage over the next five years until 2025, where it would be $15 an hour. The Cong Congressional Budget Office said this week that this would boost 900,000 people out of poverty. However, at the same time, they said the increased labor costs could lead to 1.4 million, million job losses. And so there's a trade-off there. Of course, I've spoken to multiple economists who have pointed out that there has been increases in the minimum wage in different states and counties, and they haven't seen the job losses because of those increases that the CBO report suggests. Of course, the White House will point to those uh, studies looking at this moving forward, but it remains to be seen whether this can actually stay in the COVID relief package with Republican pushback moving forward. And Sarah, how might this particular provision be challenged in the Senate? So in the Senate, there's still questions on whether they can include this provision through budget reconciliation. That means they won't need to get 10 Republican senators on board to pass the bill. Of course, that rule depends on whether it has an impact on the budget, whether they can go down to 50 senators. And basically, the CBO report said that this will add more than $50 billion to the deficit. So Senator Bernie Sanders said, yes, this definitely means we can pass this through budget reconciliation and include the minimum wage in the COVID relief bill. Of course, there are questions about whether all Democrats in the Senate caucus will actually support this. Senator Joe Manchin had indicated this week he supports an $11 minimum wage but not the $15 minimum wage. And then he said states can do what they want above that. So it's still unclear whether that provisional pass. Republicans seized on the CBO report pointing at the job losses it estimated because of increases to wage. And some small businesses have raised concerns they would not be able to hire as many people because of the increased labor costs per employee. All right, negotiations continuing. Sarah Ewell, why Sarah, thank you.